I literally didn't even buy this. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of looks like a sack of potatoes. Please YouTube, do not demonetize me for this. <laughs> What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we're going to be trying out some more Pretty Little Thing dresses under £5. Now I've done this video a couple of times on my channel already and you guys always seem to enjoy it and I think the reason why is because they are such affordable dresses and sometimes when you see something affordable you kind of think maybe it's a little bit too good to be true. So that is why I'm here to try these out for you guys so you don't have to. So today I've picked out some more Pretty Little Thing dresses. I think my order only came came to about 40 pounds. I actually ended up getting like a couple of pounds off just because I used one of their discounts that they had on the website. So although some of these dresses cost originally five pounds, I actually managed to get them for like three pounds, which is absolutely insane. If you guys are brand new here and have never seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. Make sure you guys stick around by subscribing down below. But without further ado, if you guys wanna see what I picked up from Pretty Little Thing, then let's get on into the video. Okay, so the first dress that I picked up is this one right here. As you can see, it is very very little in the packaging. Now this one actually already cost me £3.50, which like I said, is an absolute bargain. I think I'm actually gonna be kind of shook if this turns out to be a pretty decent dress. This looked absolutely beautiful on the model and when I saw it, I was like, I need that. That is going straight in my basket. So this is what the dress looks like. It looks quite simple, but it kind of has like this really cool um, strappy sort of effect on the chest, which is what really drew me in. I mean, feeling the fabric, it feels really nice and sort of like stretchy. It kind of feels like a really stretchy t-shirt fabric, which is probably why it was so inexpensive, just because it is quite thin. But apart from that, I'm actually really excited about this one. I hope it actually fits me. The straps are not adjustable, so we'll see how I get on with this. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like on, and I am actually blooming obsessed with this. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. At first when I was putting this on I was kind of like oh my god is this even gonna go over my chest because it felt very like loose and like I said the straps are not adjustable so I wasn't really sure how this would fit on my actual body. I mean let's be real this is such a simple dress if it wasn't for this top half it would literally just be a simple strappy dress but that little bar right there just makes all the difference. I feel like it just makes the dress so much more interesting. Now I'm not gonna lie I was kind of worried worried that you could see like all of the little lumps and bumps of my underwear under this dress but now that I've got it on it doesn't actually kind of show my underwear as bad as I thought it would just because the nature of the fabric is quite like soft and silky it sort of just like sits over the underwear and it doesn't really crease anywhere either so i've got to say i'm pretty pleasantly surprised with this one i think this is actually like one of my favorite dresses i have ever tried from pretty little thing for five pounds let me know what you guys think of it would you buy this would you wear this i am obsessed with it so i'm gonna give this like a 10 out of 10. okay so the next dress is this one here i went for like a ribbed beige sort of moment again this one looked so beautiful it was originally five pounds but with the little discount that they had going on. I got it for £4.50, which is a steal. Okay, so this is it. This is what it looks like. It's gonna be very hard to show you guys how this actually looks without putting it on. So you guys are gonna have to just see what it looks like on the model for now. But basically, it's a ribbed, strappy sort of dress. It's very simplistic. I do kind of worry that it's gonna give me like under boob just because the top half isn't that thick. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's quite like a thin, narrow little strip of fabric so we're gonna see how I get on with that and then it has got these two straps across the belly and then the skirt it's kind of like a bodycon high-waisted skirt with a nice thick band at the top it's all looking pretty well so far I'm just kind of worried about this top half so let's pop this on and see how it looks okay wow this dress clearly fits like a glove <laughs> I mean if you couldn't tell that was very sarcastic this dress literally does not fit me and I don't even know if I can do anything about that. The annoying thing about this dress is that I don't think it was supposed to be like an underboob dress. I definitely recall the girl actually having her chest fully covered, which is why I chose this dress. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. Obviously, I'm not naked under here. I am wearing a nude bra. Please, YouTube, do not demonetize me for this. But yeah, as you can see, if I wasn't wearing a bra, 
I just don't know how this would go down. Probably not very well. The rest of the dress, however, fits very nicely. I mean, the straps fit great. They're not too loose. And the skirt of the dress fits really nicely too. I love the bodyconness of it. Is that even a word? Probably not. I love how bodycon it is. And I also love the like band, the thick band at the waist. But unfortunately, I cannot say the same for the top half. It just doesn't fit very well. I can't even like pull it down. There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna have to get Give this like a one out of ten okay this next dress is another amazing one this looked so cool on the model so i just had to get it and try it out for you guys this is basically a little black dress but on steroids it's everything that you'd want in like a going out sort of dress it's very different it's very like I don't know, like kind of extravagant, but in a subtle way. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's quite hard to show you guys how this will look without putting it on, but it's basically like a cutout kind of dress. It's only got one strap, so it's kind of like a one shoulder deal. And then the cutout is supposed to sort of like sit on your rib in like a C shape. And then the rest of the dress is just very bodycon, very simple. I just really like the cutout. That's really what this dress is about. This again was another £3.50 dress, which is an absolute bargain but let's pop this on and see how this actually sits on my body. Okay, this is the next little number. I am honestly kind of low-key obsessed with this. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Do you like this? Do you think it's a bit weird? And do you know what? It actually fits me around the chest pretty well. I did have to take my bra off just because it was kind of like sticking underneath here, but it's not the worst, like it's actually keeping everything in place pretty snug. I love this little cutout. I just feel like it's so different and it's not something that you would see in many like stores. And the fact that it was only like five pounds or so is again, just so incredible. I've got to say this dress would be amazing for like clubbing or a night out with the girls or even like a birthday party, whatever. Like just something fancy where you kind of want to like show off a little bit. Honestly, it's so nice to know that you can wear something nice like this, but not have to break the bank which is the main thing also this is what it looks like from the back the cut sort of like continues all the way to the other side and i'm just obsessed with this this is such a cool dress again this dress fits so nicely i literally have no issues with it whatsoever so i'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 again okay the next dress is a little snake moment i feel like snake is definitely coming back into fashion it is so so popular right now i see snake print leopard print literally everywhere so when I saw this on the website, I was like, you know what? I don't really wear animal print very often, but this is actually kind of cool. So this dress was at five pounds. I did not get any discount on this one, sadly, but it is a lot longer actually. So I feel like you kind of can't complain because you get like a lot of fabric here. So this is supposed to be kind of like a midi dress. It is again, bodycon. This is a very simple strappy dress. There's not really much to it apart from the pattern. And also the fact that it's a midi bodycon dress and that is literally it. But you know what? I thought sometimes you need a little basic dress like this, but kind of spruce it up with like a nice cool pattern. The fabric on this one feels a little bit thin, I'm not gonna lie, but let's see how this actually looks on. Okay, wow, this is so cute. I actually am obsessed with this dress. It fits literally like a glove. I know I was making that joke earlier, but this actually fits like a glove. I've got to say, I usually stay away from sort of like midi dresses like this just because I find that my body shape kind of gets lost in them a little bit but this one is totally different as you can see it actually fits really well to my body it actually like adheres to my curves and kind of accentuates them also because I am quite short I'm only like five foot three I find that midi dresses always make me look really short and that's probably another reason why I stay away from them but looking in the mirror this doesn't actually make me look short it kind of goes just past the knee which is like the perfect length Everything about it fits so nicely. I thought it would be a little bit see-through, but it isn't. I thought that it wouldn't fit very well, but it actually does. So I'm really pleasantly surprised with this one. I think I'm gonna give this like a seven out of 10. That's still pretty good in my books for a midi dress like this. Okay, the next dress is a little khaki moment. I literally don't own very many things in this color. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a shot. It might work out, but it might not. I don't know. To be honest with you guys, whenever I wear this color, I always just feel like I'm low-key Kim Possible. So this is what this dress looks like. I'm not gonna lie. This kind of looks like a sack of potatoes. It's just the way that this sort of like hangs. It just doesn't do this dress justice whatsoever. But I really like this on the model. Again, it was very, very interesting. It's basically like a one shoulder deal again. It's got a little bit 
bit of a cutout on like the neck area. Again, it's bodycon, it's quite short, it's a mini dress. And this one also cost me £3.50, so can we just get an applause for the bargain queen over here? I did so good with this video. This was only meant to be like £5 dresses, but it's like £3 dresses now, okay? Anyways, I'm really keen to see how this will actually fit, so let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, I 100% feel like Kim Possible in this, which isn't a bad thing because Kim Possible, let's be real, she was a boss. I don't know what it is. I guess it's just the color. Kim Possible didn't even wear anything like this. It was like Shigo that had like a weird cut out thing on her dress, I'm pretty sure. Impossible used to be like my jam as a kid, so I should really know this, shouldn't I? Anyways, let's move right along from the Kim Possible because I feel like I've been talking about that for a little bit too long now. This dress is honestly so cool. It's very different again, which is something that I love. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my simple dresses, but I also love something about like original looking dresses where it's not like a carbon copy of everything you've seen already before. So I'm I'm really vibing with this little cutout right now. I think it's so cool and so interesting. The dress, however, fits very nicely. It really like accentuates your curves. But yeah, for like five pounds or however much it was, I'm 100% saying yes to this dress because it is so freaking cool. I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. Okay, the next dress we have is this one right here. It's a little nude slash pinky kind of moment. I absolutely love the color of this. So this one cost me five pounds and from like a first glance, it looks like a very normal dress. You wouldn't even think that there's anything weird about it until you see the side. It literally has like cutouts all down the side, but only on one side. To be honest, now that I'm looking at it, I swear I've bought something so similar to this, maybe from eBay or Wish before. Either way, I thought this looked so cool. I mean, I don't know how this is actually gonna work with like wearing underwear and stuff, but we're gonna see together. Okay, so this is the next dress. I've gotta say, it is definitely very different. I had to very tactically cover my underwear under this little strap right here. I think this is a really cool idea. It's very like risky and I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I would ever actually wear something like this out just because I'd constantly be thinking, what if my underwear slips out or like, what if something happens? I don't know. I guess it's just a little bit more exposing than I usually would go for. But it's not a bad dress. I mean, for five pounds, it isn't bad whatsoever. If you were risky and brave enough to wear this out, I honestly applaud you. But for me, I just feel a little bit like, I don't know. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. I think I'm going to give this like a five out of ten. This is the very last dress. We have another little black one and I fell in love with this. This looks so cute on the model. What is this? Hang on. I did not order this. What is this? I'm sorry, what? That is not even a dress. It says black strappy twist front bodycon dress. Is this a dress? Pretty little thing? No, it isn't. I literally didn't even buy this. Like, this is a bodysuit. It's not a dress. I guess they must have just made a mistake. Well, that's a shame because that was going to be my last dress. I guess that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun trying out all of these dresses. Let me know which one of these was your favorite. If you guys would like me to try out more dresses from Pretty Little Thing or just any other stores in general, let me know in the comments below where you'd like me to shop on next. Obviously, I do these videos for you guys because you guys are watching and you want to see all the tea about all the different stores and I'm just, you know, I'm just a public service really. That is literally how I explain my shopping habits to my fiance. It's my job. That That's, that's it. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram. I'm currently holding a massive giveaway over on there. If you guys want to win a bunch of cool products, be sure to follow me on my social media at Roxoras. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.